The city of Bakersfield has launched a new program aimed at reducing unauthorized dumping, dumpster diving, vandalism, and other problems for businesses in select areas. 23 ABC's Brianna Polk spoke to the Economic and Community Development Department and brings us more details about this initiative and how business owners can apply for the program. Keeping the streets of Bakersfield clean and free from issues connected to dumpster fires, identity theft, and graffiti is a goal of the city's Economic Opportunity Area Dumpster Security Pilot Program. City staff says this is just one of the many ways they're working to help local businesses maintain cleanliness in their area. We want to support them any way we can. Also, our own staff witnessing the constant problem when they go to dump. So. This is something we, you know, an issue that we wanted to target out of, you know, many. So um, we're hoping we're hoping it, it people are happy with it. Cecilia Griego, principal planner for the Economic and Community and Development Department, says businesses in the city's economic opportunity area, which includes downtown, Old Town Kern, East Hills, and the Southeast, can now apply for a free metal lid and gravity lock for three cubic yard dumpsters. Griego says providing metal lids was one of the key parts of the installation process, because although some may think a simple lock might get the job done, with the plastic lids, people are able to bend those underneath the lock so they're still getting access. So we think in, in conjunction with both the metal lids that are more solid and secure with the gravity lock, there's a high, they, you know, reduces the chance of, a, of anybody getting access unless they're authorized. Gravity releases the lock when the dumpster is being tipped over during trash service. It's also designed to be used with the padlock so that business owners are still able to get access when needed. However, some local business owners like Hector Miranda are doubtful this will be a solution to the problem. And even the big metal ones, when you put the security on them, they catch them on fire. They figure out how to break into them. So even the security bars that they've been, I think they're having us put on now, they're still getting through there. On the other hand, the lock method does seem to work for others. I spoke to the owner of Downtown Toys and Comics off camera, who says the lock method has helped the issue for his business. Meantime, Grego says she believes the program will not only benefit business owners, but also residents who find themselves either shopping, eating, or traveling within the city. I think people want a nice, clean, safe city. You know, walking by and not, you know, seeing a nice, secure thing and not seeing trash or people going in it. I mean, people, you know, will probably just feel safer overall. It almost ser serves as an attractant to, to people to do that if they say, ooh, an, op an open opportunity. Hopefully by eliminating that opportunity, people can enjoy downtown and, and the city. And if you're a business owner in Bakersfield and would like to learn more information about how to apply for this program, you can visit us online at turn to 23.com. In downtown Bakersfield, I'm Brianna Polk, 23 ABC News, connecting you.